Welcome to Time Out, a magazine show where you get an exclusive look into the everyday lives of some of your favorite sports personalities. Get the inside scoop on their daily routines as well as a look into some of the accolades they have collected throughout their illustrious careers. Yo. 7.30 in the morning, time to work out. Since when we are, uh, obviously, like we had to adjust a lot of things. And also for us as professional uh, footballers, it's a bit difficult also for us because we have to maintain uh, fitness. Uh, but uh, I believe like uh, our team is doing the utmost best to make sure that like we we are in good shape because they send us programs via WhatsApp groups, uh, exercises that we need to do, uh, and the target we we need to reach. When I wake up, uh, that's what I, I do first, first thing in the morning. So now I have to get something to eat. I'm gonna have eggs and avocado. So I try to always need to eat starch. The only starch that I eat is mashed potato. Also, hydrate, hydrate, hydrate. Every boy's dream to, to become a professional footballer. And to be honest, like, it's not an easy, easy thing to achieve. So for me, coming from um, a rural area, it was kind of like a far-fetched thought to, to become a professional footballer and funny thing is that like uh, when I made it to professional football I had already retired myself from football he has a chance now for a second Beloy and it's touched in by Majoro Kaiser Chiefs uh, till today I still uh, appreciate what uh, coach Manoba Nguiti who is currently uh, an assistant coach at Mamino de Sundowns, what he did for me. Uh, he basically went and fetched me out of retirement. I had an opportunity to go sign for Vets University, uh, which I uh, also played for. Coach Roger decided at that time, he thought that I was playing street football, so he couldn't sign me. Maybe uh, I wasn't uh, the kind of player that I, he was looking for. So when my coach Manoba called me, I was a radiographer doing my community service in, in Limpopo, Chinfes, when he, he signed with uh, Amazulu. So he called me to come for trials. So I went there and trialed for three days, and then that's how I got my first PSL contract. To be honest, like I didn't have an agent at that time. It was my first time seeing a PSL contract. I didn't know uh, what to do. Uh, as soon as I saw that like I was going to end more than what I was earning as a director, I said, like, let me sign. So I grew up supporting uh, Paris. So I believe the reason I uh, chose to support Paris is because of my dad, because he's a hardcore Paris supporter. So I also uh, fell in love with, with the club. Funny story, Chiefs wanted to sign me. And I told my dad, uh, because there were rumors that like also Pirates wants to, to sign me. So I chose uh, Chiefs at that time. Uh, to be honest, he wasn't a bit happy about that because he wanted me to go play for, for his team. So every time when I, I play and I score, uh, my dad would be angry uh, for scoring his team, even though he was supporting me, but uh, the, the die-hard uh, Pirates supporter in him wouldn't allow him at times. So I think like he became uh, a happy man when I went and uh, signed with uh, Pirates. Uh, and now when I was scoring, like he, he would call me every time after the game. Hanazi again, 
Only as far as me, and he serves it up. Madero! The catch! Bang! Flash to Perez! What a way to announce his goal scoring ways! Being a small boy at once, coming from a, a rural area where people believe that like you've got less uh, opportunities, left, less of uh, a chance of being someone that is recognized in the society. Uh, for me to have been that one person that gives even the up and coming uh, youngsters, kids that wants to be something more, it makes me wanna always be that person that becomes an example to them. That regardless of where you come from, it doesn't determine where you're heading, where you're going to end up. Right in there, he's got himself good space here, good opportunity, and nice cutting back as well. Should be a tough in and is. Easy as you like, Cape Town City opening up for Baraka so, so easily. This lockdown has really opened my eyes. Through this lockdown, I just discovered that like, uh, you can never uh, depend on the, the salary that you get on the, as, as a professional footballer. So like what I want to do now is to do better as, as a person, to have more uh, multiple streams of income. Uh, I have a couple of ideas that I want to implement as soon as we're done with lockdown. And like I said, like nothing that is worth having comes easy. Oh, I want to check you. When I was still playing for Chiefs, I think like 80% of my goals were rehearsed. It was something that we did from training sessions. Uh, if I were to talk about my strong point as, as a footballer, I think I'm one of the few strikers in South Africa that can make good runs. And that's one thing that I pride myself in. Like, I make good runs. I used to be that striker that waits for the ball and try to protect until I got that kick from one defender on my ankle. And that was the most painful. I've been trying by all means to avoid that, trying to protect the ball, when, especially when there's a defender behind me. Okay guys, uh, this is my soccer boot collection. As well, you all know that I'm sponsored by Puma. So, those are Puma Ones, Puma Future, all the way. So, I think we started with this one. We may transform it. One thing uh, about the Derby is like, Everyone watches them. Uh, it's every footballer's dream to play in a derby. And obviously, like, when we play in a derby, we want to perform, we want to do the best. And I uh, must say, like, I've, I've lived my fair share of playing in a derby. We play for the Chiefs, the Pirates. And uh, I'm thankful for that both teams uh, to have given me an opportunity to play for them. I'm grateful to the God Almighty. Lovely ball is through for Machado. This could be number two. And is Orlando Pirates picking up where they left off on Saturday. I believe uh, the youngsters they are the ones that are going to carry this from them to make sure that like South Africa becomes one of the best leagues uh, in the world by showcasing their talent and making sure that like our strikers score more goals. Uh, this is the end of our journey. Uh, I showed you guys what I do uh, during this quarantine period and let's try by all means to remain safe and together beat this pandemic that we're facing. God bless.